Roll to 2K, hit that sub button today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change your FPS on mobile so that you won't be limited at 60 FPS. And I will say this mostly works for Android. So if you guys are on iOS, I heard that you could probably use Delta, but which is a little risky. So I feel like if Roblox detects it, it can kind of auto ban you because they might see it as an exploit. So that's why I feel like chest straps is a better alternative. And really quick, let me show you guys my natural FPS. As you can see, it is at 60 because on mobile, you cannot change it higher than 60. So without further ado, let me show you how to set it up. So what we want to do is we want to go to our browser and then we want to search up chest straps. It's gonna be this website right here, chesstraps.org. You definitely wanna make sure you're on the official. And pretty much right here, all we wanna pretty much do is we just wanna download this. And then we wanna go to the download page. And then you download chest straps. I think right, yeah, right down here actually. So I already have that installed, so I don't really need to download it again. And uh, once that's done, you can probably go to Play Store and uh, go ahead and download Dual Space. Pretty much this app right here. But I pretty much already have both of those installed, so I'm just gonna install it through here. I have the dual space app right there. So I'll go ahead and download that. And then you also download Chef Straps APK. And that's pretty much done. So once both of those are installed, you just want to click dual space. And it's pretty much going to pop up its terms. Just press agree, allow permission. You go to settings, allow access to manage files. So now what we want to do is we want to add Chef Straps and we want to add Roblox. And then we want to clone those. And now that that's added, we want to click on Chef Straps allow and pretty much you can see right here it's going to say launch roblox and configure settings we definitely want to configure settings so if we look right down here you can see your frame rate limits this is how we're going to be able to change our fps so let's say let's say i want it at like 360 maybe i doubt it's going to go up that high but just to say then if you want to do this is optional but we can turn on enable fps display and here's pretty much all the things you can do so it's like if you want to disable the shadows you can make your game like maybe a hit smoother you can remove the grass i'm not sure if that one actually works but force gray sky i believe that one works and then preferred lighting technology dynamic resolution and also texture quality but uh the main thing i wanted to change was the fps so i'm pretty much good on this note so we're gonna go ahead and save and launch and now we're just gonna wait for this to load up and of course it's gonna have a sign in and you can also see my fps on the top so now that we're logged in we can go ahead and uh launch any game you want we're gonna pretty much just join like a simple obby and we're just gonna wait for the fps to kind of load up and you can see it's extremely smooth you can see my fps is actually at 120 130 naturally sure y'all pretty much know on mobile you will not be able to like move past 60 but with chat straps it makes it possible that is how you guys will be able to set it up and we're gonna go ahead and join another game the game i started the video off with went ahead and joined football fusion and you can see how smooth this is super smooth if you guys want to see the fps through the game genie this is just built into the phone, by the way. It will say zero because I'm on a cloned app, so it doesn't really show up. And also, this tutorial isn't quite done, so let me show you all the extra things that you might have to do with this game. So now, if you guys have any questions about some things, like, yo, I just got back on dual space, and then just, like, I can't change anything anymore. So what you guys would do is you will pretty much reinstall dual space, or you can restart your phone. Both of those options works. But since I'm still recording, I'm going to go ahead and just reinstall dual space. So we're going to restall this again, and then we're just going to re-add both of the apps. So now we'll pretty much have to re-log in, but we will be able to customize again. And right over here, we got the flags editor. You know, me personally, I don't really use flags, but I believe Roblox already passed this anyways. And the reason they passed it was because a lot of players were trying to find ways to cheat with it. So I got everything good over here. Let me go ahead and save it and save and launch and now we're back in the game and as you can see my fps is capped i've actually changed it to 32 you can pretty much see the difference so we have a gray sky by the way and i took my textures all the way down to one this is literally exactly like block straps on mobile and honestly if i did change my frame rate to like a little bit higher we would be at like a lot higher fps but i just wanted to show you guys the fps can be whatever you want so i hope this video helped you guys out if you enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you are new and go ahead and check this video out